quiet sidewalks, empty storefronts, and vacancy signs. It's a familiar sight in many rural towns across America. We would like to see our downtown be utilized again. You know, we've had a lot of vacant storefronts. As more and more young people set their sights on life in the city, many of those small towns begin to fall behind. Rural communities have it tough. Uh, that's my job, doing economic development, and uh, it, it's an uphill battle. Not only are many rural communities shrinking, for towns like Brookfield, time is starting to take its toll. Our iconic 100-year-old uh, theater, which started as a beautiful opera house, collapsed. You know, and our buildings were collapsing, as they are in a lot of rural communities, which is, which is a problem we all face. So when the people of Brookfield started to see their town literally crumbling around them, they decided to take matters into their own hands. The folks in this community decided a few years back that if this community was going to survive, it would be because they did it. It's not going to happen from the outside, and so they are doing it. They started holding meetings, planning a grand revitalization project beginning with the heart of downtown, Twin Parks. After a facelift for the Civil War soldier on Main Street and the dedication of the town's new walk of heroes, they're off to a great start. But their grand plans don't end there. We're going to take this revitalization effort all the way down Main Street. Asking residents what they'd like to see and encouraging small businesses to open, they're already starting to see results. Miss Mary's Marketplace just opened and suddenly people have a reason to go downtown again. We're seeing people uh, walking up and down the streets like they used to, and uh, and that's a feel that's a good feeling for folks. But their efforts go beyond business. The people make the town what it is, and city leaders want every one of their young citizens to know what a valued spot in the community they hold. I mean, every graduating senior, and we've done it for seven years now, has received a rural route mailbox with their name on it with an invitation to come home. Progress is slow, but as more and more projects are checked off the list, pride in the community continues to grow. So many of the messages that we receive about rural communities are so negative. And, and so this is positive and everyone needs that. You know, there is a lot of hope and a lot of future for rural communities. We just have to, uh, to do the work. And I think we are. Work that proves this rural community is still very much alive. Reporting in Brookfield, Caitlin Berry, KTVO News.